so it's disabled now i have uk and now you can open it amazing you can also use the home value change and i'm going to use that let me copy that so value home value change it will be country you know and not birthday and we need to declare that here and assign function to it in our prototype on value change duplicate that let me make sure i have the underscore yes i have it already i put that here a value if value otherwise okay if we have a value we can say this dot input state disable it will be false and we need to change it to an observable and not an account computers otherwise it will be true and it will be an observable and disable as soon as we open the page and we want also to change the data inside the state select single so we need to change the input state data provider observable as well if you have a value to be a new data provider and let me see the declaration of that and let me copy this to be a little bit faster and here i will put that and of course you need to have let me have that outside that logic let states array and then after disabling it if value equals to one which means there is portugal a state from portugal we will have the states array equals to an array and inside we have one let me put lisbon and porto and then else i know it will be for every other option it's just uh, an example so i don't want to to write an if again it will be uk Chester, let me say liverpool and then we give it here if it is portugal and we know that because we are defining that in the js file we will have this state uh, without this array and then if it is other than portugal we will have this state inside our input state data provider if for some reason we don't have a value or we change it to an empty value you need to give it an empty array and disable it so let me save that it is disabled we will choose portugal it is enabled and we see lisbon and porto and then i want to uk and we will be the other data so as you can see we are having a home value changed relation between the country and the state and this is how you can do it if you if you have a value and clear that and click outside it will not change to an empty value if you clear the value and press enter it will clear completely and if you press tab as well so clicking outside after clearing the input will not have any effect we need to press enter or tab so it will uh, have an empty value let us point our span with the oj bind text to the value so we can see it portugal will have the id value one so if you recall it will be this value one but from this one this input country data provider it is this id if we change that to uk it will be two if you empty the input it will sorry if you empty it will be null we'll have nothing there so you can then have some validations on that you can also have messages there help int required placeholders 
well, it is an OJ input, so we have always the same kind of attributes to use. You saw the basic right now. Let me just show you the, uh, the case I was talking earlier. You can have a list of employees to see that we need to open the developer tools and see in the network the file that is being loaded to this demo environment inside the cookbook that is the employee data.json and as you can see the object structure the object properties does not have any value or a label so you can still get the values here but you will need a different approach that is by using this item text attribute that points to a function and in the gs file we need to return what we want because we will have the the full object here the full data provider object and then we need to return which is the data we want and also we need to change the key attribute to be the one we we want to store here if I change the key attributes to label the value that will be stored will be the label so the value that will be stored inside the input country value that is the variable in our value attribute so this is the key attribute we are using and then as well we have the text filter attributes there is from where we can look for if you want only to look for the first name the last name or the phone number or if you want also to filter from salary we can also have an item template to display multiple information okay we we can have images we can have the different values we have an example here it is quite simple we need to add a template tag with a slot and then use this data oj dash as attribute from the template tag to store the object so the item will hold all the information for each one of these options being uh, the the name the the company the contact and so on and then we can use a span with some object classes and the text we can use there will be the concatenation for the first name and last name property inside the object we are receiving in the data provider and we are using the oj highlight text so you can highlight as soon as you are typing it will highlight the filter he is doing of course the filter will be here so it will highlight the first name the last name the title or the phone number if you are typing so if i type 515 as you can see it is filtering by the contact and it is a small highlight if i type and clean that again you can see that the five is being highlighted as it is a secondary color it is harder to see so it is relatively simple i'm not going to develop an example here if you guys really need it you can uh, tell me in the comments and i will do a video on that uh, but for now let's keep with the basic and we have this master and detail relation let's call it where we can change the country and then we are allowed to change the state and we have the state list from that country we need to go to uk and then we have the different options as you saw here i have porto that is id2 and then i change to uk and it will change automatically to liverpool and why because we also need to clean the value we are having here when we change the data or otherwise it will identify the liverpool as the id2 and will display it so you can programmatically assign a default value and that is the case here because we need to clean the input state value every time we are loading the data it will be null we are cleaning that every time even if you have value or not let me show to you portugal then we have lisbon and porto let's choose porto and change to uk and now is empty and you can choose liverpool you can go to portugal it will have an empty input again and if you clear the input 
and press enter it will have no value as well you can also have a default value let's put a default value for country when you initialize the country value you instead of using null you can give it one you know that value already and it will load with portugal okay but we'll not change this as we don't have an own value change it is the first value there and this is disabled because we are stating that it is disabled by default so in this case we need also to put it as enabled so you can see the states however the states are also initialized as empty so you can have a default value and we also need to have a default list of options for that value because as soon as we enter the page we don't enter the on value changed i put there a console log and when the user changes it and then we have the country changed so the on value changed is executed and then we have the value so this is a very basic example of how you can do that let me undo the console log and the default values so i still need to change to null we have an empty value then we need to choose portugal and we have this behavior so this is how you can use the select single the select money is very very similar the difference is that we will have an array of values instead of a single value i can show that to you very quickly select money html gs so this is the oj i'm going to put that as an example the data provider will be the same here it's not called data but options the id i don't care about it and the value will be input as well let me have this with comments so we have a j money then we need to load the, the module ojs oj select combo box let me open and we have here without any label no matches found let me put the label hint so it is a data provider and not a value sorry for that so we have the two options and we can select the, the two options and we have the two values the property value here as we are using that as the key attribute so it is the difference instead of having only a value you can have a list of values that is inside an array and which will have the select money and let me undo all these changes because we don't want to select money and then do that here as well not so much only the loading of the module portugal then porto uk and then it is an example of using oj select singles and oj select money of course we can have more complex ones but for the first time you are seeing that i think it is a good way of starting now let us continue with our form and add the buttons to submit the form